Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Basler's back with another one for you. Uh, this time we're heading over to the Heineken Blade and it's their Edelweiss Wheat Beer. Now they do another one, which I'm guessing is more, it's more of a Hefeweizen than it is really. Uh, so I'm expecting this one to be more of a Belgium style wheat beer. It's coming in at 4.9%. I got it from Beer Wolf. It's, it was 33.99 for an eight litre keg. So uh, any second now, we're gonna shoot over there and uh, do a video of the pour. Come back and take the review from there. So uh, let's crack on with it. So we're back, beer in a glass, just on the pour. I forgot that this glass was so tall, so I did struggle to actually fill it right up because I had the drip tray underneath. So I do apologize about that, if that offends anybody. Anyway, like I said, Edelweiss wheat beer. Uh, they do another one which is more of a Hefeweizen for me. I'm expecting this to be more Belgian-like, if you like. And it's certainly a bit more Belgian-like in looks. Uh, it is sort of like orangey, hazy sort of amber sort of color uh can't see any carbonation going up and no doubt there will be we've got that would have been two finger red if i could have filled it right up to the top but it's not so it's about a finger and a half of white compact head looks really good so uh let's give her a sniff and see what we get oh yeah big banana hit in there banana caramel notes wheaty a little bit sweet there's even a little bit of spiciness in there now uh like belgium sort of wheat beers tend to have that sort of coriander thing going on uh, i did notice on the keg it says something about mountain herbs so you know you know are we talking coriander i don't know but it's 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 got that sort of belgium sort of it's almost like a a bit of a cross on the nose between a hefeweizen with all that banana for me and that wheaty sort of coriander sort of thing going on but smells good so let's shut up dive in there give it a try cheers yeah very banana -y. uh body wise body on this beer Again, just with that taste and with the aroma, the body on this beer, it's certainly heavier than sort of like a, your, your bog standard sort of Belgian style wheat beer, but it's maybe not quite as heavy maybe as uh, your sort of Hefeweizen sort of wheat beer, but it's a decent body on it. Carbonation's nice, carbonation's for me, I would say carbonation spot on on this. Uh, there's, it's just the right amount to make it interesting, but not too gassy, I would say. Now the mouthfeel is a little bit odd. Well, I say odd. It's not the smoothest on one hand, if you like. Uh, but when you've got that head on the beer, it certainly gives it a bit of a creamy mouthfeel, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, there is sort of like a, a little bit of a sort of like a rough edge to it, if you like. Uh, Taste-wise, let's go in and give you some taste in those. Now it's definitely a little bit different for me, this. And again, Taste wise, it's it's in between that sort of Belgium style wheat beer, <laughs> excuse me, Belgium style wheat beer and a Hefeweizen if you like. You've got the banana caramel sort of notes of a Hefeweizen, oh, excuse me, I do apologize, of a Hefeweizen, uh, but then you've got that very wheaty sort of taste and 
spicy coriander kind of thing going on. So it's almost a bit of a hybrid, really. And I think with that spicy side to it, there's a bit of reg to it, which is a little bit different because... Yeah, um, I don't know if I really get bitter edges to, to wheat beers, even like the Belgian style ones, but this sort of seems to have that little bit of a bitter edge to it. But it's very decent, it's very tasty, it's very drinkable. The banana thing in there on the taste is very much... Do you remember the banana sweets, the little candy things, you know, the little banana things? Very much got that feel about it. Really nice as well. Not over wheaty, and this is what I mean by maybe a mixture of like a Hefeweizen and a Belgian wheat beer. It's got all the sweetness of like the Hefeweizen, which kind of counteracts some of that wheatiness of like a Belgium sort of thing and that spiciness. Uh, it's really well balanced for me and it's a, a really nice drink. Uh, it's a nice little mixture of the two, 4.9%. Yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's drinking like it should, I would say. Uh, really enjoyable, really refreshing. Could you down a few? <laughs> Quite easy, as you do. So, uh, yeah, for me, Edelweiss Wheat Beer, the new one, not the Heifer Tub or Heifer Trub or Heifer Visor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the new Edelweiss for the Blade is a winner for me. Well worth picking up. A nice little addition to the range as well. Uh, is it worth the money? Of course it is. It's a decent beer. You know, what do they say officially? 14 pints officially. 500 mil glass up to up to there. So you're getting 16 of these glasses out of it for 33.99. Just over two quid for a decent beer. Well worth it and well worth trying. So uh, for me, the otherwise gets a thumbs up without a doubt. Uh, from Beer Wolf, by the way, as well. Uh, for me, yeah, like I said, it gets a thumbs up. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you're thinking of getting it and you like a wheat beer, get out there and pick it up because it needs to be bought. Uh, an excellent beer. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I always ramble on, get used to it. Uh, and that's it. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. And I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.